Will Michigan be good? Now, there has been a lot of movement that have happened from, from Michigan at this point. You have a jumbled up quarterback room, which we've known over the years. The Caden McNamara and J.J. McCarthy thing have always gotten a, you know, there was a rift there and they were trying to figure out how to win. And then we had the TCU loss the year before that. Those guys were battling it out. You know, Cade McNamara couldn't have got it done. And then you, you switch it up to Michigan having a national championship win, which I wasn't a believer. They beat the teams they need to play. But to me, it's just so difficult for me to see in the lens and in the tunnel of that a team is going to be successful by playing a whole bunch of group of five or, you know, FCS level schools. And by all accounts, they they came out the gate winning. Now, do I think Sharon Moore is going to be able to get it done with them? We shall see. He had came in as the assistant coach, but they can't be naive to think that not only the cheating allegations, they've been proven that that was the case. I don't care what anybody says. It is what it is. It's, it's sit there in stone. The cheating team won a national championship. You know, whatever. Like anything to get a little advantage and they got caught. Not the fact that I don't think any other team has done exactly what they've done, but I, I can't be naive to the fact to think that you know, that didn't help them win either when Ohio State's been pretty much their dad for, for a year since Jim Harbaugh's there. Now, they've had success the last two years, not taking anything away from them. But even though Jim Harbaugh got suspended pretty much twice that season and they still came out on top, don't think that there wasn't any communication between him and Sharon Moore. Sharon Moore has been one of the best recruiters as far as offensive line, tight end, and wide receiver talent. Uh, in the Big Ten, especially offensive line and tight ends. Um, you know, they, they've always had a great group of, of blockers up front, and he constantly puts guys in the NFL. Um, I mean, he's even put the backups of offensive linemen into the NFL at this point. Their defense has been top five, top ten for several years now. Didn't have a lot of movement that happened this year, and they pretty much are going to keep everybody outside of Chris Jenkins and Mike Sanders still. Um, and a couple other pieces that left, but it's next man up for them. Will they be good? I still think they're going to be good. Do I think they're going to win the Big Ten? No. I am still in the boat that Oregon has a lot to say about that. Dan Lennon is <laughs> Dan Lennon is a little bit closer to, to the East Coast now, and he's going to be able to pull some recruits out of there playing, you know, being a team in the Big Ten even though they, you know, they're in Oregon. But Dan Lanning has done and exceeded expectations more than any other coach in his first year that I can recall. Think about Coach Prime. You could throw Brent Venables in there. I mean, he only had six wins his first season. You can you can throw – I mean, shout out to Gus Malzahn too for, for doing what he's doing with, with UCF, especially after his first year. First year coaches to a new team, especially first time coaches that have never had the success that somebody like a Dan Lanning has had with a program like Oregon. Now, you're going to have to watch out for him with a Dylan Gabriel, who's played for several different teams, learning as many offenses at this point that, you know, he's possibly capable of learning. And the only thing that I, I really want to say about this whole thing is, when you have Ohio State, who now has a better offensive coordinator, and that's why we had to back up the last topic with this one, and Oregon, who's – they're going to pick up where they left off. They have a deep running back room. They have great wide receivers. They have Dylan Gabriel, and their defense is going to continue to get better because Dan Lanning is a defensive coach at the end of the day. Like, say what you want about Dan Lanning in the first half of 2022. It looked kind of bleak, but then them boys started playing really, really good with Casey Rogers and then on that defensive line. And they turned that ship around. And now we were talking about at one point before Oregon had played Washington in, in the Pac-12 championship that, you know, by all accounts, we thought that they were the best team in college football last year until they lost again. And it wasn't due to Bo Nix, <laughs> but that that's that's all that I'm saying is like we we have we have that aspect of Michigan totally um, 
that they that they really have to watch out for. Ohio State and Oregon are in that same division. And also you got some newcomers, which you don't know what's going to happen. Jed Fish is a really good coach coming over from Arizona and inheriting now a, a team that lost a lot of talent in not only the transfer portal, but really in the draft itself in, in the Washington Huskies, a team that played in national championship. And to me, they're not going to be as bad as TCU after their <laughs> after their year of going to the national championship. But, you know, I think that they are a, you know, a five win team at best. Like, I, I think it's going to be that bad for for Washington. There's a lot of change there. And it's, you know, I want to see how these teams are going to travel, especially, man, talk about the ACC. You got Stanford and, and Cal. They got to transfer all the way to the east from west coast to east coast several different times this year and then smu from texas going over that way too um yeah it's it's gonna be crazy for them it's gonna be crazy for them but i do got my man manny two times back backstage yo what up bro what up what was happening how you feeling dog i'm feeling good man i'm feeling good feeling refreshed to uh yeah. Attack these next couple of weeks until football rolls around. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It is rolling around like really fast. If it was just like we was in the off season, like the other day, and then like now it's already here. Well, when you not you have a channel like ours that we just keep talking football, it comes it comes way quicker than if we were just sitting here twiddling our fingers for weeks without nothing to talk about. So yeah. So how you feel, man? Like, Mich- or is Michigan gonna be as good as they were last year? Hell no. Nah. That, that's what I'm saying. Was, uh, as soon as I got on here, I was gonna say, man, shout out the old state, shout out to Auburn. You know, my 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 two teams right there. Well, Auburn, my number one team right there. But you know, Ohio State is gonna uh, shut them down next year. I, I just I don't know. I don't feel like Michigan. Like Michigan, I think the thing with them is next year. I, I just don't think like that personnel gonna like be the same. Like maybe like it'll still be run heavy and all, but like that defense, they lost some guys like. Uh, they lost that one safety. I forget his name. Uh, you know who I'm talking about? Rod, Rod Moore, right? Yeah, he lost. They lost him. I know he was. He was a good ass. Uh, he was a good ass uh, safety too. So, um, you know, losing him is type. It, it's it's a, like it's a big loss for him. And then you know, obviously losing John Harbaugh. They lost so many guys on offense, like Tony, Blake. They lost the. Uh, the guard, uh, Trevor Keegan, and then, uh, what else they lost? Uh, yeah, but they lost mad people. I'm not gonna lie, but they they still got you know D Edwards, you know, he big Heisman candidate, you know, obviously he on the cover of NCAA. Everybody got mm-hmm. news about that, but well, one of the biggest things is it's Caleb Downs transferring from alabama and going up there like yeah yeah, caleb down just yeah people just want to ignore the big time transfers that that ohio state got and and they transferred early this wasn't like they transferred in the second period of the of the transfer portal like they transferred as soon as january february rolled around they was in there and then they were in getting enrolled in school like caleb downs was going yeah. quinshawn and- Jenkins was going Uh, Will Will Howard was a late the latest addition there, but I think he was just trying to shop around and see where he was going to belong, and then they brought him in. Like the team is going to be can't forget about that center from Alabama too. Uh, uh, the center from Alabama. Uh, Yeah, I forget. I forget his name. He got yeah. He got his black uh black shirt removed as soon as he got to Ohio State. Same thing with Caleb. Yeah, 